and gentlemen, from the fighting city of Belfast, Northern Ireland, it's your challenger, Ryan. Coming into the first bell, you're focused on what you have to do, and that focus is being that other person. The circumstances are pretty extraordinary. Packed SSC Arena. When I was growing up, it was it was at that time when there was a lot of trouble and a lot of violence. Police have raised for rioting across Belfast. The attacks have been widespread and sustained. I was always involved in it, and I'd always seen the violent side of it. My dad, he was always fighting with me, messing about with me, but it was installed in me to fight, and when I got hurt, to fight back. He would tell me to keep going, and he was burying that in me at the age of four. Right hand there, a couple of right hands in a row. How deep you have to go in a fight in terms of the well, or your desire, your guts, and everything else. Every champion, every fighter has to show that at some point, and with Ryan, I know it's there. A little smile on the face there of Ryan Burnett. There is a fair amount of blood coming from that cut. I could feel warm blood just constantly running down my face. I didn't care. If anything, I wanted more. Oh, big right hand for Burnett, and Haskins is down. After the 12th round, I went, the first thing I said to Adam was, have I won it? And he said, yeah, you've, you've won. They called a split decision. Jack Cole scores the contest. 119-107. My heart dropped and I thought to myself, wow, they're going to take it from me here. You hear of all these crazy decisions around the world and they're going to favour the champion. Of your winner from Belfast Well, The first time you win a world title, you've realised a dream and you satisfy those sort of desires and and the emotions of happiness. The right man has won, Burnett has got the title, let's just soak in the celebrations. It was as if a massive pressure had just been lifted off me and it was, I could briefly say to myself, I've, I've done it now, I've, I've, I've done it, it was incredible. It was an incredible feeling and I, I really am looking forward to hearing the same words on October 21st. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Belfast. And as always, you've done yourselves proud, a great turnout. And so you should too, because here we have something very, very special. He doesn't see himself as world champion until he's beaten the other world champions out there. To stand out as a star, you have to be willing to take those fights that others won't. And to move into a unification fight against someone like Zaki Arnold in your first defence is incredible. As soon as the fight got announced, I started visualising this. I started thinking about what's it going to be like being in there with him. How is it going to feel? <laughs> The fight should be an extension of what you've done in the gym. Nice. You slip again. <laughs> Pretty obvious what Zaki Arnold brings to the table. He's bullish in his attitude, just wants to try and bully and get his heavy hands on you. So he'll constantly try and make you work, get up close and let his hands go. They might be mad taking a fight like this so soon after. You know, in the old days, You'd win a world title, you're selling a load of tickets, the city loves you, you just come back and have a couple of nice defences. Now you have a chance to actually set up a legacy for yourself by winning these kind of fights. It all depends how people are brought up and how they're tuned to life, the kind of things they've had to face in my life. I've faced a lot of, a lot of tasks that other people haven't had to face, which has given me a hunger that a lot of people don't have. I know I've got that dark side that I can always turn to, and that's, and I know that's in me. That's, that's been in me my whole life.